All right, this will be a review of the Snapper 60 volt lithium ion lawnmower. Let's open this thing up. What's got in here? Let's see what it is. All right, so here we got the the charger and then over here's the battery. Battery. And we got this sheet of paper here. Let's see what we got here. Snapper, 21 inch cordless push mower, 60 volts, battery included, extended runtime, lithium ion, uh, brushless motor for ultimate power, uh, foldable push start. Move up to an anchor on a single charge. Acre, sorry. Seven position height adjustment. Um, heavy duty steel deck. Um, three in one allows for mulch, rear bag, and side discharge. So it has a rear mulch, rear bag, side discharge. Ten year warranty in the motor, four year limited warranty, two year battery warranty. And then there's all kinds of other options you can use a chainsaw, hedge trimmer, string trimmer. I actually got the string trimmer, so I'll be reviewing that too. And the blower and the mower. So that's that. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this thing out of the box. And then we'll come back and give it a whirl. I have St. Augustine grass. And my biggest concern when buying this was that it wasn't gonna be power enough to cut my St. Augustine because it's pretty thick. So once I get it out of the box, I'll set it up and then we'll, we'll take a look and see how it runs. All right, we'll be back. I just wanted to get a shot of it of the of the mower as it comes out of the box. So this is once you pull it out of the box, this is the way it is. So it looks like there's a little bit of assembly, but for the most part, it's put together. And um, I'll come back once I get it together the way it's supposed to be. All right, I'll be back. Okay, here it is assembled. The battery's in. So to take the battery out, you push this. Battery pops out. Push it in. Just pop, pop it in. It's got a full charge, as you can see. So let's see here. Pull down. I think you're supposed to hold the safety button down. Pull the lever. kind of hard trying to do this with one hand so let me see if I can get a tripod set up and then we get a picture of me doing this and I forgot to tell you also I have the mulching uh, attachment in so it's right there okay so we're gonna see what happens let me get a tripod
if you can see that, but it did a pretty good job. I mean, the first uh, time I went over with it, it, it was a little too low. I had it all the way down at two. I raised it to four, so that's why I got stuck. But then I raised it up and did a fairly good job, I would say. I mean, I don't have the greatest lawn in the world, but did a decent job. And as far as the mulching goes, it's decent, I could say. Looks pretty good. Made a little bit of a mess over here, but that's expected when you're mulching. So, I say it's a success. I like it. It's pretty smooth. It's um, really lightweight and really quiet. So, and I'm pretty surprised at how it went through the St. Augustine. That was my biggest concern that it wasn't going to be powerful enough to go through the St. Augustine, but it powered through it like a champ. All right, so I say this is a success. See you guys next time. My next one will be on the uh, trimmer. So I'll see you guys in a bit. Bye.